Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you all how I make a filling salad. Stay tuned if you want to know how to make a delicious salad that will keep you full for several hours. So to be honest with you all, I typically don't measure, but for the video purpose, I do have my measuring cup. So if you want to see like how much to use, um, I have spring mix for my base and you're going to start your salad with about two cups of this spring mix. Honestly, you can do more or less because it's salad mix, so it's extremely healthy. So here I'm just about to cut up a half of an avocado, the egg, and 10 grape tomatoes. If you want to make this a little more keto friendly, you may want to reduce the 10 grape tomatoes down to 5 because of the carb count. Off camera, I went and rinsed off my tomatoes. And I boiled my eggs actually a couple of days ago because I typically boil about six to eight eggs at a time because I use them for breakfast and in salads. I also fried the bacon up this morning as well. So it's giving it some time to kind of sit and get a really nice crisp feel to it without being oily because it's been sitting on the napkin since this morning. So we have that. I'll go ahead and take my egg and I'm going to cut that up. I usually cut it in half and then cut it again. This is a half of an avocado. And you got to get all this brown part off, so that's why I saved this one for last because it is the most difficult. So I got this measuring cup here, and I have that for my Parmesan cheese. Um, a serving size is about a fourth cup. This is the fourth cup. So I'm going to fill it. I probably am going to underfill it because I don't have to have a lot of cheese on my salad. It just adds a nice flavor. It's finely shredded. Okay. And then I have some uncured bacon here. I fried up four pieces because my husband is doing a salad too. A serving is two slices of this bacon. Next, I'm going to add the flax seeds in. This is really, really good for keto because it's fibrous. It has 9 grams of carbs, but it also has 9 grams of fiber. So basically, no net carbs. And it gives the salad a crunch. So I really recommend that you try seeds to replace croutons. And you'll really like it. Aldi chicken cutlets. I'm going to get one of these, which is about two ounces of chicken, and I'm going to cut it up. So that's how I make a filling salad. Feel free to modify if you don't eat pork or if you don't want as many carbs because you're doing keto. This salad is keto friendly. You can also use ranch or blue cheese. Pretty much any salad dressing that doesn't have sugar or carbs will work for this salad. 
Feel free to comment down below if you have any questions or suggestions and let me know if you'd like to see more of these types of videos. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and follow me on social media. Bye you guys.